Uh, this is part two of the video series. Um, now we're going to be looking at some basic troubleshooting procedures. Now, right now, I'm going to simulate a short circuit. So I'm going to take this alligator clip, put one in on the housing of the transformer. Now it's open. We got my test lead. So this is in continuity mode. I got my test meter in continuity mode. So if you go from here to here, you don't hear anything. However, if I simulate a short circuit, meaning there's a, a, a power is going from the transformer to here, now you hear the, the meter is beeping. So basically what happened is, this is a simulation of a short circuit. Now, that's you don't want that to happen in the um, HVAC system. Best case scenario, if it does happen, it'll blow the fuse. Worst case, it'll fry the electronic control board which those are expensive by the way now um this is a mistake that a lot of technicians make um when you're um when you're trying to test a wire to see if power is flowing through it properly or um if it's got continuity the best thing to do if possible is to isolate your wires in other words simplify it as much as possible because i'll give you an example looking at this this is your wire, your R1 wire coming off the thermostat. So basically, right, right here, this um, <clears throat> this red wire, which is coming off the thermostat, is going and it goes to the transformer. For example, if you wanted to test that, what you want to do is test that individual wire and um, break it down into individual sections. Don't try to um, mess with anything that's on this side, but um, if you wanted to isolate the wire, the correct way to do it is to disconnect it. And then, for example, go like this. Put one end of your um, your test lead into this end. And if you wanted to find that wire on this side, what you do is go over so it's not that one. Let me move the camera so you can see what I'm doing better. So let's try this one. So if you hear it beep and now you know that that's the correct wire. So now I know for sure that the wire on that thermostat is this one, which was connected to the contact. So this is the proper procedure for um, testing continuity. You always want to take it off the contactor because what will happen is if you try to test for continuity with this wire connected to the contactor it'll give you a false positive and i'll prove that to you right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my test lead put it on this terminal that's right next to the wire but it still will um it's connected to the wire so it'll still flow through power i'm gonna give you an example now i'm gonna go on this wire here now you don't hear it beeping but uh, if you go to this one now you hear it beeping so that's why um, when you're testing wires, you don't want to um, you want to isolate it off to your actual component because what could happen is if it's connected on this contactor, and that contactor that contactor could be shorted out, for example, meaning power could flow from this side of the coil to this side back to the transform, which of course the transform is connected back to the thermostat and um, it'll give you a false positive your meter could go off regardless if if there was a break in this wire for example because it's feeding power through the other wire that's connected on the other side of the contactor through the transform so it's very important when you're on um, troubleshooting wires that you isolate it off of the component actually remove physically remove the wire off a contactor for example all right i hope this makes sense all right have a nice day